Thanks for being here. As, as we've said from the get-go, uh, the plan's being executed to perfection at this point. At 7.01, the first patient left the building and been transferred to the Oshai Children's Hospital. Cassie will give an update as to the numbers, where we are for the day. Uh, but so far, so good. I want the community to know everything so far, so good. And, and really happy about the community uh, being very good uh, partners with us and, and staying away from the streets and so on. So let me uh, give it over to Cassie. All right, good morning. I am happy to announce that our hematology oncology unit is completely vacated. Uh, we transported six patients safely and one of them actually slept through the entire thing. Um, our pediatric intensive care uh, unit, 11 patients have left, so we have a couple yet to go. Um, we have proudly delivered an infant here and we have some moms over there laboring as we speak. Um, over at Oshai, our first admission came into labor and delivery just as we opened the doors. We currently have two patients in the emergency department and one in the neonatal intensive care unit. And as Jody said, it's, we're on schedule, we're doing well. Scott. Good morning. Um, thank you to everybody who looked out for us and uh, the weather has cooperated, so our transports have gone off without a hitch. Um, thank you to Buffalo Police for providing us with a secure route and no issues whatsoever on the transport system. Frank, anything in your end? No, I'd just like to say that all the planning that all these teams have done over the past months has really turned out to uh, make this day uh, the success that it's been so far. So, we're happy. Questions? Um, so you guys did 12 mock moves. How well did that prepare you for what you're doing right now? Uh, beautifully. Um, it is amazing to see from the first iteration to today how well people took sort of the lessons learned into account, how well they're working together as a team, that the timing has worked out, that our partners with AMR sort of know what we do and we know what they do. Um, because we transport patients every day, but we don't usually transport this volume. So it, beautifully. What's been the difference, Jody, you think, of, of, of this months of planning, years of planning, to, to really, you know, make it work like clockwork, I guess? Kind of. Well, I think it is. It's the preparation, it's the planning. So the, the, the plan itself, I've said this all along, is spectacular. It's the people who implement the plan, it's the people who execute it. So as Cassie said, the number of mock moves, the dry runs, the tweaking, the making it better each and every time, you know, we were ready to move. I think Cassie said it a couple of days ago. We could have moved. We were ready a little while ago, but, you know, in our kind of uh, drive for perfection here, I think just preparation and practice will always lead to a great outcome. Does everything schedule to be switched around because of the weather? No. No, we added uh, some blankets. We already had 500 additional blankets here, and we added a few hundred more so we could have full blanket warmers at both exits. Other than that, we're on schedule and everybody's safe. Started with 125 patients to go today. Do we have a number that we're down to right about now after the first break? Uh, that's still the number we're working with at this point in time because throughout the day, you know, kids kids are really funny and how quickly they can get better. So we might have a few more discharges. You said the first baby has already been born over there at Oshai? No, here. Here, okay. We had, uh, and a couple had a in labor. moms here. Okay. So we had one delivery here this morning and we'll see what happens with the next few. Do you still anticipate the delivery taking 24 hours? We all know. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. We're, we're saying 24 hours, and like I said before, if it's if it's less, that's fine too. If it's a little bit more, again, speed is not the goal here. The goal is to ensure that the safety of our patients, the safety of our patients, our employees, and all their families. So uh, we'll be back at you in a couple hours, get a little bit better idea of what we think it's going to be. Uh, but we're still saying probably around 24 hours. Any additional challenges that make you? Not at this time. They haven't had any acuity changes or stability changes that we've needed to modify anything for. And uh, the team's really, really excited, so they're ready. What, some of those pediatric patients have probably been here in this building quite a while. What was the reaction as they got to the new ones? Uh, it's been pretty amazing. Um, as they've left this building, I think uh, the hematology oncology unit is the best example. They know those kids really well. They're basically part of our family and the fabric here at Women and Children's. And um, they allowed every child uh, that was awake, because of course we was asleep, um, to pick their own magic word. And we did a countdown as every stretcher left the unit. And at the end of the countdown, everybody got to shout their own word, and out they went to their ambulance. 
Um, and as they've arrived in the units, it's sort of a, a similar welcome. We've let the parents help us dictate how the kids want to uh, enter their new unit. So it, it's been pretty amazing to see. The emotions are high, but in a positive way. How many volunteers do you guys have? Because this place is stocked with them. This, well, we have over a thousand between the two locations. So really thrilled and, and grateful of the community support. And I, I know there's a lot of action going on uh, down in the medical campus in the parking garage throughout the building and then here. People want to be a part of history and we're more than happy to have them. Can you give a little rundown of what's going on in the next couple hours? What's the plan? That's the last, last question. Kansas, 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 Kansas. Um, sure, as the pediatric intensive care wraps up, um, we will have a slight pause so all the leaders can debrief together um, to see if there's been any lessons learned with the first two units being moved already. Um, and then we'll continue on with the rest of the schedule and we'll roll through the rest of the day. So we will follow the debrief with uh, the neonatal intensive care units paired with labor and delivery. Labor and delivery will be followed by mother baby, so our moms and babies will move together and then they will be followed by our pediatric floors, um, so just pediatric med surge units, and then, then we'll call it a day. Next update at 11 o'clock, guys, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.